I'm Richard, and I like pretty things. I have hundreds of lamps, a hundred sheet sets. I have laptop bags, canvas bags, leather bags, jewelry, pottery, silver settings, nice high quality clothing. I do have so much stuff that there are no paths left in my house. I'm Andrew, and I'm Richard's brother. Richard has always closed himself away from the family. He would never allow any of us in this house. We have been working with him for years to try to help him, and he just would never receive help from us. His house has been condemned right now. It happened over a year ago. He lives in a homeless shelter. I do have my own room, but it is just a small six by eight room with only a single bed in it. I did bring a lot of things from my house to make it comfortable. I'm Therese, and Richard is my brother. At the shelter, he is starting to bring tons and tons of stuff into his room. They have weekly inspections, and he could stay there as long as he passes these inspections. These are people that are trying to help him, and you have to follow rules. If you can believe such a thing would happen, I have been evicted from the shelter, not for drugs or alcohol or fighting, but because I have brought things in to make my room nice. None of us ever thought that he would come this far down, evicted from a homeless shelter. Good morning, everyone. It's so happy to have you all here. I'm so happy to see family members here to support Rich. I'm Standalyn Robertson, and I'm a certified professional organizer. So we're here for you today because if we don't get this cleaned up, you're out. You're out on the street, and you have nowhere else to go. Is that correct? I am considered homeless. The house is condemned. OK. The challenge for this job will be to be able to get in there, clear the place out, make sure that he's able to get his basic utilities turned back on, to keep him focused on what the big goal is. The morning plan is to clear the basement. No questions asked, you want it all out. Yes. Is everyone ready? Good, yeah. yes. let's go, let's get this done. So this is a key? That's, that's How a many key. fans do you have? A lot, but they all do work. I'm I think you should will. donate them. No, the shirts stay. I want the stainless steel racks, though. OK, how many? One? All of them. I want all the clocks and lamps. He wants all of the clocks and lamps? Just, you can't. Rich, you can't. <sighs> These clocks are wrecked. They're not wrecked. They are wrecked. Look at them. They can't even, they don't even stand up straight. They're wrecked. They're junk. I have to wait. It's that simple. Things that are new that I have not used, That's I want. That's practically your entire house then, because it's almost not. everything in that house has got price tags on it. <clears throat> I am getting panicky. And that stays. That stays? Yeah. Even though it's really falling apart. It's fun. not falling apart. This is my stuff. I decide. 
I'm Dr. Melva Green, a board-certified psychiatrist specializing in obsessive-compulsive disorders and hoarding behavior. My suspicion is Rich has identified with a lot of these things. So if our throwing it away, he's feeling thrown away. So it's broken now. It's, it says. All right, Richard, don't you get going with me. Richard seems to have forgotten that he's going to be homeless if we don't get this house cleared out. We made a commitment yeah. that you would let us help you. Yeah. You came yeah. up with the basement. You said, yeah. the, the basement, basement first. you guys yeah. knock it out. I know yeah. my situation. What happened? I've no, no. never had any other human in my house. This is really, uh, it's not an invasion because I invited it, but I, I do feel invaded. And it's making me jumpy. I'm getting really jumpy. Rich has mastered not letting anyone into his feelings. He's mastered shutting down. These are the feelings yeah. that you've been trying to avoid. I know. He has not really come to terms with his identity overall and has overly identified with a lot of his stuff. What was the decision on these two things? I can return that. No, they won't if it's closed out stuff and they and can't put it back on the shelf. They can't put it and back on the it. shelf. They won't. Believe me, no. all of the customer service people love me. Well, they love it me. doesn't look like you've been taking uh, anything back. I think way deep down he understands the goal here until he lets us make more of the small decisions for him. It's frustrating. It can be returned. It's torn. They won't take it yes, back. Yes, they will. Rich. They go back. Anything that I can return is going to be returned. Then why didn't you in the last eight months when you've been doing nothing? Answer that for us. I'm really impressed with Rich's siblings. They're showing him how they feel. They're expressing themselves. It's even difficult for Rich to handle all of it. He's had in his mind that they're ashamed of him, they don't care about him, and that's not true. I want you to stop blocking us out. I want you to stop blocking us out. You are. We're asking you questions and you're turning away. I can't think, I can't think right now. It's because no, you not. won't let yourself go. Let yourself go. Will you please trust us? Yeah, yeah, I You're am. not trusting us. I need you to open up to us. You keep telling everybody that we don't, we won't, we won't listen to you. We don't relate to you. You need to start telling us what is going on. Because it's not about this stuff. It's not about this stuff. I did just come out to uh, my brother and sister, and I didn't think I would be able to do that. Richard's actually talking to us now. He's letting us into his life now. I think it's great that Rich has used this as an opportunity to be honest. I ended up exposing myself way more than I ever thought that I would be capable of doing. Rich has to really see that he's worthy, that he can be well, that he can have the life that he's imagined, so he doesn't get right back into the same patterns of hoarding behavior. Richard is part of the family and we'll make sure he stays part of our family. And we're there for him, that's what we do, we're family. And we're gonna help him as best we can. I consider this whole event as a life-giving rejuvenation, and I'm gonna try to rise out of the flames like a phoenix. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.